Okay, y'all. I um I'm trying something new and I'm about to show it to y'all. I haven't had this on my phone. So I'm pulling it up on my phone now. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Give me a second. I'm trying, I'm trying to pull this scale thing up. Oh, you know where I'm at. Okay, if location above is not correct, please enter the location code from the intercom in the search bar below. That's correct. That's where I'm at. So, I've never did this before. Hopefully y'all can see me. I've never did this before. So it's coming up asking for the trailer number and stuff. So I had to put this information in there. The trailer and tractor number. So and that's what I'm typing in right now. And the trailer is TA. don't show none of my information oh it got a bar going up across the phone but anyway it say push next so I'm push next $13 accept I'm gonna accept what well, is allow away my truck to send notification I guess I can allow that now processing do not pull off scale that's my weight and my drives is currently over. Okay. Now I've never re -wave. Oh my steers is exactly 12. I've never re because I don't be needed to. I be knowing what I'm doing when I slide my things. But I'm going to do it in a way. So let's hit done. the box move and so when I go backwards when I go backwards this gonna push back that way so I'm gonna go this way as far as counting my holes now I said I'm gonna do I could do it I gotta do at least two but I'm gonna go three so what I do is I just mark around it that's where I want to put it at 
that's what and i'm only going out for this pin right here but i want to put it there if it hit that one that one is fine so i like it now it's unlocked and i'm gonna have to bump it because that didn't go all the way in so i'm gonna have to bump it some but yeah that's how i remember mine i don't be back there counting all them little circles i ain't got time for that i just need to know where it need to be so pause one second so i'm back in here Put that down because I know where I need to be, and I'm gonna have to bump it. So I'm gonna bump it backwards first. I think it unlocked. Now, sometimes I like to look at a mark, you have to sit still. I like to look at a mark, and right there should be good. I'm not 100% sure, because that don't always work out. But let's go see where we at now. So, hopefully I didn't get it too far, because too far, because sometimes, looking at a smart don't really work. Okay, so if you look closely, you can see just a little tip of it right there. So I can pull forward, and it'll fall in place. So, I'm not gonna try to get it in the Since I see it's marked behind there. See, that's the pin right there. So what I'm gonna do, now, if I go backwards, if I put my truck in reverse and go backwards, which causes this, this rail to slide backwards, that means that little pin gonna fall in down. So I'm gonna get in my truck and pull forward, which slide the box this way y'all let's see what i'm saying because everything everything is really in reverse that's what it is i went backwards and i got it a little too far now i can bump it on backwards and it'll fall in that hole and that'll be fine but since i want to get it in the hole that i marked out that's what I'm going to do. So, it fell in the hole. And it caught me. It stopped me from moving forward. So, now I'm just bumping it. Making sure that it's locked. Even though I'm about to get out and go check it again anyway. I end up pausing it. I'm going to Virginia. No, I'm going to West Virginia. So you see, it's exactly where I want it. So now, I know it's good because, well, I've been doing it so long, I know what the hell I'm doing. But I'm going to go, hold on. I'm gonna go right here and reweigh anyway because I'm also testing out this app thing. So let me get right now. See you in the next little clip. I literally just had to blow my horn at somebody because they're gonna block the stand. This is a, um, a four wheeler car. So now we're back. That's the string I left off on. So let me see. How did I get this dirt thing? I don't, I don't know how to. This is why I'm showing y'all this because this is my first time doing it. So I guess because the reway shouldn't be 15, 16, however much I pay. First way. No, this is a reway. So I didn't know that would pop up and tell you that. So there it go. Just gave all my truck information. It's a reway. And so next, so it's three dollars and fifty cent to reway. Except now it's gonna tell me how much I weigh now, and we're gonna see if I was right. I'm moving it just three holes. I tried to put it in the exact stopper. There we go. 
I even took some weight off my steers. Now that's pretty much even right there. So I'm done. I don't need to reweigh no more. Y'all done took enough money. So I was showing y'all that because one, I'm about to go to Virginia and I weigh, first of all, I filled up. So I'm completely full. I filled up death and everything. And this is my weight. 43,295. I need to weigh this low before I get, get gone. And I keep saying Virginia. I'm going to West Virginia. That's where I'm heading to. <clears throat> so I decided to come and wait, but by this truck stop is so small and there's really nowhere to park. I was like, let me try the, the um, thing where you weigh your truck and stuff from inside your truck. Cause I have to wait, then go find somewhere to park and go in. And I don't mind going in if there's something that I need to do. If I need to use the bathroom, get something to eat, get something to drink or whatever the case may be. I don't come to this truck stop because they, it's so small. It's a love. Y'all saw where I was. And then plus I'm just by passing time because that bridge is full of, full of traffic. So my weight is good. I'm good. Everything is great up in here. Um, that's all this video was about. We learning together how to operate the Weigh My Truck Cat Scale app. And that was my first time doing it. And so it's cool. It's all right. I like it so far. But I will talk to y'all good people later. Y'all have a good one and a safe one. All right. Bye.